Sunshine and showers, they said. Well, this autumnal weather is certainly doing what the meteorologist said it would. Now, I'm on my way back to Dorset with this SWM 600 Super Jewel to return it after two really very enjoyable weeks. Now, the first thing I want to point out, though, is this seat, which had a shocking, well, maybe not shocking, but 898 mil is not for the shortest people. And I've looked at the accessories list and there is no stepladder with it. Now, when I first climbed on and did my first few miles down the road, not only was it difficult when I got to traffic lights to put my foot down, but I realized the suspension was so hard that it made the seat hard. Having loosened everything off, the bike has been transformed. So the suspension is adjustable for both rebound and compression. At the back, of course, it's for spring preload and, uh, and, and damping. But you might think that all of that vibration would have just come from this engine. It's a 600 single after all, but in fact it isn't. It isn't a vibrating engine. I don't get white finger when I'm using it, and that is even cruising at 70 miles an hour. Now this engine is very comfortable from 40 to 70, which is where we might want to be traveling. Um, economy is also working out at a remarkable 68.9 to the gallon, which I think is very good. Um, it is a very punchy engine though. It's a Husqvarna 610, that's its route. And that means that actually it loves being on the power. If there's a hooligan within you, you will find it. This bike will find it. Um, the gearing is beautiful. Very, very well spaced six gears. And the two different models of bike, this is the X, there is also a T which has got smaller wheels. But the gearing is different throughout them. So you can't just interchange engines, it would make quite a difference. The tank is metal, currently empty, um, but the metal tank, if you look at the spec sheets, if you read the Italian version, it says it's 18 litres. If you read the British version of the handbook, it's 21 litres. So far, even when I get the fuel gauge down to the bottom, uh, I'm still only putting in 11 litres. So clearly way over 200 mile range, which again, now that I've made the suspension enable the seat to be comfortable, that really is a doable proposition. I think three hours I was in the saddle this morning and I'm fine. Now once you've climbed aboard and managed that key, which is really awkward if you've got any long gloves on, you realise that the dash is small, it's got loads of competition heritage, rather like the engine, um, which means that you can only see fuel gauge and a trip meter at the same time. You can't see a clock, you can only see the clock, not the trip meter. You can see a stopwatch, but not the trip meter. Um, and so it goes on. There's even hours run. Now there's no need for that on a travel bike. Practically, this 600 Super Dual X model, says X there, that means it's got the 21 inch front and the 18 inch rear. That is all good off-road. Very sensibly, the ABS is switch offable for the rear, which makes it great when you get in the dirt. Um, the crash bars, the lights, the hand guards, they all come as standard in the price. To adjust the headlight, you simply pop off the front cowling, no tools required, and there's one screw behind to adjust the headlight. That all makes an awful lot of sense, which is great. Impractically, however, the low down fueling is awful. Um, this bike needs to be on the throttle for it to really flow. And I'll show you something else. The center stand, it's absolutely brilliant that it has one and it is standard, it's not an optional extra, but look, there is no way you get your foot up there. I have in fact worked it out and I can dance, but in time of puncture, it's useful. Practically, it's a bit daft. So in summary, this SWM Super Jewel X, I think makes a good value overland bike. The whole package as you see it here is 6899, so that includes the hand guards, the crash bars, the lights. For only a hundred quid more, you get the Jivy luggage. Now this Jivy luggage, if you were to buy it on your own, of course, would be much more expensive than that. It is light at 164 kilos. It's incredibly easy to manage. Once I'd set the suspension, it's soft and comfy, and the whole detailed review will be in the next issue of Overland Magazine, on sale end of November.